its core, a team is a brotherhood. But some brothers share much more than a field. To be able to have that impact on somebody, I don't take that for granted. But he called me his little brother. Before he was a brother, Joe Idle was a fighter from the moment he entered the world. A doctor came in. He said, your son was born with Down syndrome, and he has a very complex heart condition. Basically, Joe was born with half a heart and wasn't expected to make it to his first birthday. Joe did, and for years continued to defy his doctor's predictions. Joe endured dozens of procedures across the decades, but in 2020, at 37 years old, he entered end-stage heart and liver failure. I was writing his eulogy in my brain. I couldn't stop. I can't imagine life without Joe. I am upset. You were upset? Yeah. Why? I know how to I know how to die. The only hope was a transplant, but Joe needed to get stronger to survive the surgery. That's when a family friend reached out to Joe's favorite player from his favorite team, Brandon Graham of the Eagles. What's up, Joe? A.K.A. DJ Dog. I just wanted to encourage you and let you know that it's going to get better. You got to continue to keep being strong and making sure that you're getting ready for this heart that you're about to get, man. I hope. I was just like, hey, Joe, man, you know, we don't give up, so you don't give up. And all I need you to do is just make sure that you keep fighting. All the way down, all the way down. I can't count how many times we've pulled that video out and got you to watch it and encourage him to keep fighting and keep moving forward and getting stronger. I love you, baby. Be strong. Joe's work paid off, and in November 2020, he underwent a heart and liver transplant. What do you want? We gotta hear your words. The surgery led to seven grueling months in intensive care. And along the way came more messages from Graham. Hey, what's up, DJ Dog? What's up, DJ Dog? I want to congratulate you on getting your, your heart and liver transplant. Dig deep and make sure that you work hard, man. Keep moving, walking, and getting stronger. You are loved and continue to keep on pushing. Here we go. So proud. Look at that, Joe. I just wanted to let him know it's just not one and done with me. I told you you could do it. Yeah. To be able to get him over the edge and get him back to being Joe. I'm, I'm happy I was able to be a part of that. Brandon Graham didn't know the impact he'd had on Joe in his recovery. He helped save Joe's life. He got Joe out of bed when we couldn't. When the doctors couldn't, no one else could do it. You did it, Joey. Two years after the surgery, the two finally met at training camp. Oh, yeah. And Joe had his own message for Graham. You have a good day, all right? Okay, Timmy, I'm going to get you. Jimmy, with you. Okay, okay. Hey, well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm his little brother, and I'm going to make sure I'm going to do what little brothers do. Check on yeah. the big brother and gotcha. let him know somebody's gotcha. there that loves you and want to help you. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. I'm going for my little brother, Brad Graham. I'm going you a big bro. Forever. We credit Brandon Graham for saving Joe's life. Joe is better today because of Brandon Graham. While Joe's future prognosis remains uncertain, one thing's for sure. Thanks to a surprise message last week from his little brother. <sighs> Well, look, it's me and uh, the Eagles and the NFL, man. I wanted 
to send you to the Super Bowl. Hey, yes. Do you know what a big deal that is? Oh my God! <laughs> my man, my little brother. Let's go. <laughs> I want him to see what hard work gets you. And he worked his butt off to get to this moment. And look what it got him. It got you to the Super Bowl. Now, I can't wait to see him out there. You deserve it, Joe. You do deserve it, too. <laughs> I am going to show up with no photo.